Just this bend the knee, beg forgiveness from the woke mob thing. It's so both tiresome and also so pathetic. And when are people going to realize that we should not live in a country where the statement of basic fact results in groveling apology? Also, I just am so disgusted at the idea that you have to apologize. I understand if somebody has to apologize because otherwise they're going to lose a job and they can't pay their mortgage or they can't take care of their family. I understand when people have to make apologies because economically they have no other option. If you are fortunate enough to be wealthy, as I would think that Macy Gray certainly has to be, why do you care? <laughs> Sometimes we on the on the uh, conservative side of things, we get a little bit um, we get a little bit uh, wrapped up for a moment in. Oh, wow. Look, a celebrity said something that made sense. You know, uh, a celebrity that maybe we weren't expecting to get political at all. Or perhaps it's just somebody who hadn't heard much about in a while. And you have this moment where you go, oh, I wonder how this will be handled. So just a few days ago, and by handled, I mean by the lib media, by the, the Democrat apparatus, Macy Gray is a uh, singer, recording artist. I, I, she was, she had a, like one year. Am I, am I right in this one, Clay? She won like a bunch of Grammys. She had a really big year some years ago, maybe 10 years ago. Does that sound about right? Yeah. I was going to look her up. I mean, I, I know the name, but I was, I was similar to you in that I was like, I don't really remember why she became famous or when it was, but yes, she had a couple of she, songs that were super famous. She had a couple of big songs about a decade ago. For those of you like me who celebrate the movie training day for which Denzel Washington actually received the best actor award that he should have gotten for some other movies, uh, including Malcolm X, but it, Training Day is a great movie. Macy Gray actually makes a cameo in Training Day, and if you haven't seen that movie, you're just looking for a good watch. Have you guys all seen that one here in New York? Have you seen Training Day? Very, very good movie. E Ethan Hawke, very good on it, too. i got to give credit where due. Anyway, Macy Gray's in that. She was on Piers Morgan's show, um, and she said something that had a lot of us go, Oh, this is going to be interesting. Play good for six, her. 16. I will say this, and everybody's going to hate me, but as a woman, just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Right. Sorry. You feel that? I know that for a fact. Can I just... What she said there is the most basic statement of fact imaginable. She is... What she said is 100% true. It is as true as 2 plus 2 equals 4. There can be no dispute. You will never find anybody who can credibly claim that the changing of the parts actually makes the parts what they would be for the other sex. That actually can't, they can't do that. They can try to make it somewhat similar in appearance, but they can't actually make that transformation to make somebody a woman who is in fact a man or a man who is in fact a woman. And Clay, I know we saw this, we got, you know, uh-oh. Well, I, I, just, you, I, I thought to myself, good for her, but my, anytime I see a quote like this, I actually sent this to my wife because my wife is super fired up over the idea that you could decide to become a woman and that makes you a woman. So like, no, that's not, and this is why I always say like, Hey, you can't be transracial, right? If you, if Buck, if you decided tomorrow or I decided tomorrow, Hey, you know what I want to be? I'm going to be an Asian man from now on because I feel like even though I'm a white guy, I'm actually Asian. I'm a, I, I've been trapped in a white body. I'm going to become an Asian man or a black man or but a Hispanic man. It would be super racist. It wouldn't be allowed. Transracialism yes. would actually make a whole lot more sense because we have people, for example, who self-identify as that they will self-identify as as black and you'll find out that well they have a grandparent of four who are black so there are actually multiple ethnicities that right. are coming you know you have you have people who my, my my own nephew is south asian and caucasian so he is multiple ethnicities right. he is not actually one He's absolutely adorable by the way he's so great he already knows all of his abc's <laughs> he's counting to 10 i i'm going to tell you this 
This is like getting me. I gotta have kids soon, Clay, because this is getting me all excited. I walked in recently to see my visit my little sister. It was amazing, and her little nephew. He's uh, twenty months old, and he came, and he's at that age where he's just running in circles constantly. He's oh, just yeah. running everywhere, yeah, yeah. and he runs all the way up, and he just looks at me, and he goes, "Buck," and I was like, "Yes." I said my name. I was very excited. Anyway, okay, everyone doesn't need to hear this all across America, but I was very excited. Point being, let's take this back to the Macy Gray situation. We all have way more in common, As to, to your point. Like, if you had to choose right now, do you have more in common with someone who is also a man, even if they are a different race, or do you have more in common with someone right. of a different gender? I think men and women have far more in common with their own sex than they do with their own gender. Yes. The, Sorry, the, with you, their own you can uh, be, race. You yeah. can be... A person, and many of, I mean, we all are actually, and when you really get down to it, right? I mean, you know, just ask Elizabeth Warren, but we all are the product of many different ethnicities, yes. actually. And so identification along racial lines, that is a much more mutable characteristic in this sense that you can have more. You can't actually be a man and a woman at the same time. You can be, have a black father and a, and a white mother or an Asian father and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, all, yes. the, way down, all the way down the line. Um, and many of us do. So you're right, though. That's because of the political implications of, say, of of the racial, what the Supreme Court calls the racial entitlement state in this country and racial identification. OK, but back to me. It's actually Gray. offensive, right, if you change your race, whereas it's brave if you change your gender. And that's why I, I when you a minute when you said, what did you think? I said she's 100 percent right. But I didn't right. want to praise her because I said, I wonder how quickly well, she's going to backtrack. So, you know, we have the same thing. You're saying, yeah, this is amazing. She spoke the truth. My first thought was, oh, they're about to J.K. Rowling her. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> you know, they're about to the, the, the left. Well, the will funny not... thing is she said she knew she was going to get criticized. So it's not like she walked into the yeah. statement blindly. I know. And now this is where we have to go, you know, womp, womp, gets a little sad. Macy Gray, what, about 48 hours later after her recitation of the most basic and straightforward fact, here is Macy Gray saying, I am super, super, super sorry. I said some things uh, that that uh, didn't go over well, but um, my intention was never to, to hurt anybody. I feel bad uh, that I did hurt some people. And and I think it's... it's um, you know, it's just about education. It's about conversation and, and us getting to a point where we understand each other. And and um, and and that that only happens with you know. I've I've learned a lot through this. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was one of the reasons uh, it might have happened. Just it was a, a huge learning experience for me. And and uh, and I, I just have a compassion for for. You know what? I, I think you 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 can, like I said in there, you can call yourself what, like you, you whoever you believe you are, and mm -hmm. and no one can dictate that for you or take that away from. No, you. you're not actually whoever you believe you are, and I'm not Spider Man. It's yeah. I mean, I, I could I could walk around saying I'm Batman, and it doesn't yeah. make it true. And you know, just this bend the knee, beg forgiveness from the woke mob thing. It's so both tiresome and also so pathetic. And when are people going to realize that we should not live in a country where the statement of basic fact results in groveling apology? Also, I just am so disgusted at the idea that you have to apologize. I understand if somebody has to apologize because otherwise they're going to lose a job and they can't pay their mortgage or they can't take care of their family. I understand when people have to make apologies because economically they have no other option. If you are fortunate enough to be wealthy, as I would think that Macy Gray certainly has to be, why do you care if people are mad at some of your opinions? Like, I just fundamentally reject the idea. I just don't care. And maybe well, this a, is a, lot a of, weird A thing. lot of very rich, very influential and famous people, as you know, Clay, are also deeply insecure yeah which is a surprise to a lot of folks who haven't spent time around people who you know right. are in that in that milieu shall you, shall you say but even it's true even in media it's true in hollywood um you get people that are deeply insecure and the thing that they actually crave because they have money they have prominence more than anything else is the acceptance of their peer group and that's why it's just oh my gosh you know the other the other fancy music or hollywood or you know news media people they're mad at me so now i have to grovel 
my wife says to the extent that I have a talent, it's that I legitimately don't care. Um, and some people say that, but I'm the kind of person who if 10 people tell me I'm awful, but one person is like, hey, you're pretty cool, I remember the one positive. And most people remember the one negative, but to me, this is what disgusts me on so many levels about these false apologies. If you have, and many people out there do, Buck, F you money. I think this is a quote from the uh, from the great show before it lost its mind, Billions. What's the point of having F you money if every now and then you don't say F you? Isn't it like, so interesting that you quote yeah. that show Which that also became went off the, the unwatchable totally because it really just became yeah. a show about a gender-neutral, transgender, 22-year-old finance genius who everyone had to refer to as they. That became a central conceit of the show. And you're just watching this like, like no what is this like why why am i being subjected to such politics in this way in this show it just became unwatchable so You're right so they have a lot of money they have what you call you know bleep, bleep money, money. And, and, I, and and i just say again i mean i feel the same way about people who had to get the covid shot i understand if you had to get the covid shot because you had to keep your job you had to make your mortgage payments and everything else there are a lot of people who don't have financial con considerations at play and to me, Buck, those are the people who need to stand up for the people who aren't fortunate enough. They don't have the privilege to be able to say, no, this is wrong. So when I see Macy Gray, she went on Piers Morgan's show and said, I know I'm going to get criticized for this, and then totally changed her tune by the time she went on the Today Show. Why? I agree with her. You can't just decide that you're going to change your gender. And that everybody else, that makes you a new gender. That's not possible. That's biologically not real. You can basically decide that you want to identify in that way. If you're an adult, I think that's your right. But I certainly don't think that you can change your biology. In fact, Buck, I don't know if you can see this. The shirt that I'm wearing right now that we are now selling on OutKick just says simply, biology is real. And we have ended up in such a crazy place where these transgender activists now say sometimes doctors get it wrong when a baby is born. That's their argument. They this made. is fascinating, by the way. There was a, a sub stack that has been making the rounds. Um, some I've seen some people on the right. I'd, I'd, I'd hat tip them, but I forget who was retweeting it earlier today. A sub stack with this headline. When a quarter of the class identifies yeah, as I saw trans. This. And this is, let me just read to you folks a little bit of this. A quarter of the girls in my daughter's class identify as transgender. Seven out of 28. When I said that on Twitter recently, I was attacked for being a TERF, which is a trans-exclusionary <laughs> radical feminist, I've learned this term, yes. who makes up ridiculous stories to harm trans people. While I may be a TERF, uh, she writes, I did not make this up. A quarter of the girls in my kids' class identify as boys. One of them has had four names this year, all from an anime series. So this this how old author, are these kids? They're like twelve, I think. I gotta I gotta check this. It's parents with inconvenient truths about trans teens is this substack, and it goes on to talk about. It's interesting, actually. I, I'm not even seeing a the author's name here um maybe probably because scared to actually put this stuff write this stuff down um but i know about this from other people where they're telling me the 10 15 20 percent of their child's eighth uh you know eight year old or 10 year old class in school are all identifying as trans and all want different names and things to you know they and they just come up with a new name and a new pronoun and everyone's supposed to and the teachers are all encouraging this, and parents find out about it and say, what's going on? It's like, hold on a second, parents. Do you want us to call child services on you? This is the, this is the America we're living in now, folks. I know people don't want to believe this, but this is happening. Well, and, and it's also an indication of how uh, sort of this thing spreads and becomes popular, right? I mean, if you're talking about 28 kids in a classroom like this author did, and 25% of them are identifying as transgender. This is absolutely crazy. And the pushback on this is when we're starting to see it take over in the world of sports and become more and more common, there's a difference between saying, hey, you have decided that you're going to make a life choice 
and then allowing that life choice to implicate everybody else who is, let's say, trying to compete in women's sports and suddenly has a six foot four swimmer who used to be a male college swimmer kicking all the women's asses. Biology is real. And I think we just have to keep hammering home on this because we're getting to absurd categories. 